Hello and good morning. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, Arrow. How are you? I'm absolutely fantastic. Hey, before we even get started, I've got to give kudos to Amazon Prime. I mean, the way you guys bring these stories out to us from all of these other teams, from, from like, I'm a Charlotte Hornet fan, but how can you not love Giannis? How can you not love everybody that you feature and we love the entire sport rather than just the, the individual teams? Oh, I, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. That's the greatest compliment. When you go out to get this story, I mean, you've got to be a student. What What are you, especially with Giannis, I mean, there, there, there had to have been something you needed to learn. There was a lot to learn. Uh, you know, he had really never done something like this, a long form interview that kind of went deeper than the broad strokes of his story. Uh, he had never... Um, a lot, not allowed, but he, his family had never done on camera interviews. So this was like totally new territory for them. Although their story had been documented by others, like in, you know, print pieces and stuff, they had never told it. And so I went in as a student wanting to learn everything because they had never told it through their own words. Um, so it was a really cool experience as a filmmaker. You always hope that you go in with your question list and your expectations, but that you are surprised along the way. And with this family, I was surprised at every at every turn. You bring up such a great point in the way that that, you know, so many of these these basketball stars or even football stars are are taught how to do a sound bite. They don't know how to tell a story. And I, and I just wish so many times that they would learn how to sit down and let's just bring it forward because you're going to, you know, the, the, the country, the world is going to embrace you if we know your story. Yeah, it's so true. And I, I do think it's a mixture of like them not being maybe media trained, but also like these interviews and the trust that you need to build, they, that takes time. You can't just like be thrown in a room with someone for 15 minutes and think you're going to get their life story. Mm -hmm. um, with Giannis, like it was, this was a two year process um, and trust was built up, built up. We actually didn't do our first interview with him until almost a year into the process of wow. making this. Um, we kind of documented games and access first. And then after we, I felt like we had built up that trust, we sat down for a three hour interview um, and we were able to make really great strides and, and go deep because he felt comfortable. We had the time and the space for him to really get into the details of of his life so many times we've always heard the stories oh the greats in the nba will never come from the streets or a ymca but oh my god Giannis, the streets of athens that inspires me because he did know the game he studied the game and the greatest in the game he absolutely did he he actually again as you mentioned he grew up with nothing they didn't have even you know cable in their home and so him and his brothers would go to a local internet cafe <laughs> and they would pay you know a euro for an hour and they would watch highlights of their favorite nba players and that's really how he learned the game was by you know studying lebron james and michael jordan and Magic Johnson in this internet cafe. I mean, I mean, you can't. There, there's no, there's no greater story as like a like to 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 um, I guess talk about like a self starter, going into the internet cafe and finding that you know is is just a, an amazing thing in my opinion that he was able to do that. To sit down with him and talk about his life, and because he he really had that that fear of you know seeing his own fame, but yet now someone is asking about his journey. Yeah, it's it must be weird for them. I mean, him and I talked about it a lot. He's like he's a very humble guy and he always brings everything back to family. Yeah. And so a lot of the interview was not even really talking about himself. It was all talking about like his family, his brothers, mm -hmm. his fiance, his mom. Um, he was always kind of deflecting it. Um, but again, like that's what I think makes him a really unique and special subject is that he is pretty selfless for an NBA superstar. He's not an egomaniac, um, which is refreshing. Right now, you, you bring up the name Giannis to people, and they, and they may have to think about it for a little bit, and they'll go, oh, yeah. And yet Giannis has won two MVPs. I mean, I mean Jabbar and LeBron James. I mean, we're, we're talking about upper level here, and it needs to be on the tip of our tongue saying, yes, that's my man. He's an NBA star that everybody knows. But again, people don't know the real story behind it. And so we just we just hoped that we could we could kind of 
move beyond that surface level um, kind of storytelling that that everybody had already had heard and seen. You know, the, one of the things, uh, the only re- reason why we knew him is because the Bucks are always taking on the Hornets. And it was one of those things where, the, <laughs> you know, I remember when Michael Jordan used to come into the arena. Giannis is the same way. I had that same feeling that when I would see him on that court, it's like, oh my God, give me back my air. He just took my air from my lungs. Yeah, watching him play is, tr- especially live, is like next level. He's yep. just, there's, there's nobody that's really been like him. Just his physique, the size of his hands. He's so athletic. He's so skilled. Um, you know, he's like a, he's a point guard, but he's he's 6'11". I mean, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's a unicorn. He's absolutely amazing to watch. I've watched him play a lot. And every time I'm just, you know, surprised and excited all over again, like, you know, the first time I saw him. But you know what I love about him, though? Even though he's 6'11 and we're smaller, he never treated us that way. He's it was almost like he always looked in our eyes and saw us at his level. Yes, he's very down to earth. He's very grounded. People were like, oh, my gosh, were you so nervous to, to talk to him and interview him? But I was like, absolutely not. He's a bit, he makes people very at ease and comfortable in his presence, um, which is such a superpower. Um, and I think it makes him, again, very approachable and very unique in terms of NBA stars. And he was okay with the, with the name Greek Freak? Because, I mean, sometimes, you know, they, you know we, we give people titles and it's like, ah, don't call me that. It's really interesting that you asked that. He was not okay with it in the beginning oh. because Freak is kind of like a you know, not a nice term to describe somebody with, Mm -hmm. but I think he started, he's a very philosophical guy. And as he started to really think about like the Greek freak, he was like, I'm, I am different than everybody else. And like, maybe I can be that face for other people that are a little bit different. And then he just started to embrace it. And it obviously took on a life of its own. Um, You know, he uses it in a lot of his Nike branding and he totally embraces it now, but it definitely in the beginning was, he was not, he was kind of on the fence about it. Yeah. Congratulations on doing this because I mean, like I said, you you guys give us the opportunity to fall in love with the entire sport and not just a team. And we need things like this on Amazon prime. Well, I appreciate you saying that. It's been a wonderful, wonderful journey for me personally. I'm, Greek and I am a huge basketball person. So getting the honor to tell Giannis' story was once in a lifetime opportunity for me. And um, it's, it, it feels good to have it out in the world and have it resonating with people. Uh, so I appreciate the kind words. Beautiful. Will you be brilliant today, okay? Thank you. Thank you. You too. You bet. Thank you.